quick comment. We mentioned, uh, in the previous example, we mentioned continuity, and the continuity uh, with vector function is very much uh, the same as continuity with real function. Remember the definition of a continuity at the point A when we learned calculus one, we said that uh, the function is f of x is continuous at x equal a if the limit as x approaches a of f of x equal f of a. And the same thing apply here. We're going to say that r, the vector function r of t, is continuous at uh, t equal, equals a if the limit of r of t as t approaches a equals uh, r of a, like so. Okay, uh, and of course this is uh, this is a limit. This is a continuity at t equals a, and we can say that uh, r of t is continuous on the interval on a certain interval of t if it continues at every value of t on this interval. The same as we did with uh, real function uh, continuity. We also can talk about parametric equations. As, and this is natural transition because you have R of t in the, and you have vector component in 3D that correspond to a point in space that is x, y, z. So uh, you can take a curve C and trace it with a vector r of t as t varies. So you create a curve by collecting all the points along the curve, and each point corresponds to a different value of t. So parametric equations. So we can talk about the space curve, and we're going to say that the space curve C is the set of all points A, Y, Z like so uh, so let's say we're where x equals f of t, y equals g of t. There will be something redundancy here, because I'm going to use that again. z equals h of t. Uh, okay. So what is the property? We're going to say that the parametric equation, that's a redundancy. x equals f of t, y equals g of t and z equals h of t uh, trace points on the space curve c as t varies. So here's the next example, uh, and we want to describe the curve, and by that we mean space curve. Curve uh, defined by the following. Uh, so we have a, a vector function, r of t, defined as 1 plus t, and then 2 plus 5t, and then negative 1 plus 60. And we need to describe it. Any idea what this is going to be? It's a curve in space. It's a space curve, right? What spiral? Not quite. What is the uh, what type of uh, parametric equation you can come up with 
uh, with this particular component. Well, to help your thinking, think about what order is the variable t? Is it first order, second order, third order? First order. First order smell like what? Line. Indeed, it's a line. Okay? Uh, and if you think about it, what are the corresponding, uh, so the corresponding P, the parametric equation? The corresponding P is, the P is uh, that are corresponding to R. Our x equals 1 plus t, y equals 2 plus 5t, z equals negative uh, 1 plus 6t. <laughs> Just squeeze it in, okay? So what, what they do, they describe a vector that, uh, or a line, Describe a line parallel to a vector. What are the uh, direction numbers of this vector? One, five, and six, exactly. And what is in the line passing through a point, right? What is the point that the line is passing through? I'm sorry? One, two, and negative one. All right, so we got this out of the way. Um, another type of curve is the helix. Let's talk about it in, in a second. 